Okay, let's now bring in the train body and temporarily I'm going to right click and I'm, I'm going to fix it. Okay, and we see when we fix it, we get this extra symbol in the browser that shows that that part is fixed. We'll need to unfix it later, but let's fix it while we put the rest of the pieces on the train body. Okay, so let's also bring in the stack, cow catcher. How about the hitch magnet and the hitch peg? And then once those are in, just like we put the track together, we want to mate opposing locations. So on the cow catcher, I'm going to pick the back side of that peg that sticks out. And then I will pick the corresponding location where that's going to plug into the train body. And I don't want that to be a revolute. I want that still to be fastened. And it's going the wrong direction. So let's flip it. And then let's see if we can rotate it around so that it looks right. There we go. Okay, hit the check mark. And you want to get used to zooming in and getting good eyes. Of course, what I need on this, I want to take that location, the bot, the very bottom of the stack. And we want to make sure we get the bottom of the hole. Okay, so there's all kinds of incorrect locations you can pick. Make sure you get the bottom of the hole fastened. Oop, we're good. Okay, and then we want to do the same thing with the back of the train. Let's just pick the back side, pick the outside circle, flip it around. We want it fastened. And by magic of mates of a 3D model link program, even though there's nothing holding that in place, it's stuck there. So again, we'll pick that side, wants to go with the back side of the peg there, where that'll plug in. And if it's backwards, flip it around, make sure it's fastened, and there we go. Okay, so that's the easy part of the train.